an NHL analyst reveals some shocking details on the trade market value for Mitch Marner. Plus, this Nick Robertson trade makes too much sense, and I'm going to break it all down for you guys coming up on this episode of Hattrick HQ. But before we get into it, we got a word from our sponsor of this video, NordVPN. In the NHL, defense always wins championships. And if you want an extra layer of defense for your browsing, you need to try NordVPN, the fastest VPN out there. A VPN or virtual private network encrypts your IP address so that when you are on public networks, you can create your own private network. This means you can enjoy Hattrick HQ, watch hockey games on the go safely and securely from anywhere around the world. Right now, if you go to NordVPN.com backslash Hattrick, you can get an exclusive discount and start browsing with your VPN today. And not only is it speed with NordVPN, they also have a Threat Protection Pro that would help secure everything on your laptop, computer, mobile device, anything you can think of. You can kind of treat it as the Ryan Reeves of your computer, where he's going to knock out any threats coming its way. So why wait? Upgrade your browsing experience today by heading to nordvpn.com backslash hattrick to get an exclusive offer. Plus, NordVPN has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so why not try it out so you never miss a crazy NHL highlight ever again? And a big shout-out to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. And a huge thank you to NordVPN again for sponsoring this video. Make sure to down below in the pinned comment in the description to get an exclusive offer and start browsing with NordVPN today. But with that said, let's jump right into the first topic of the video today, which is this Robertson trade is perfect. And yes, this has been a wide range topic of discussion around the entire Toronto Maple Leafs roster uh, or around the whole Maple Leafs media this whole offseason is, is Nick Robertson going to be traded? We heard from Trey Living that he wants to keep him. We've heard from Robertson that he wants to be traded. But today, we have a, um update on this and some a potential trade target that makes a lot of sense if we're a return for Nick Robertson. And that is actually... Arthur Kaliev from the Los Angeles Kings. They say here, like Robertson, uh, the word is Kaliev wants out of the current his current organization, which is LA. Kaliev was a 2019 second round pick uh, and appeared in NHL games as early as 2021 season as a 19 year old. And if we just go on to the next one here, so in his rookie year as a 20 uh, 20 year old, Kaliev scored 14 goals and had 27 points in 80 games last season. His third full season in the league, he scored seven goals in total, 15 points in 51 games. He saw some minutes of the Kings' second power play unit, and this deal would see a couple of disgruntled young wingers uh, get to change the scenery they both desire. They also say here, there are games uh, somewhat similar considering the offensive punch. However, Kaliev is a six foot two and two hundred and ten pounds compared to Robertson's five foot nine, one hundred and seventy eight pounds. Uh, you can imagine this would be music to the ears of Barube, who uh, per, uh, who prefers players who have some size and don't get pushed off the puck easily. They also say Robertson is a native of California, and this would be an ideal situation for the Maple Leafs to send him back home. Meanwhile, Treliving used the one point two million in cap space and signed Kaliev to a one-year deal and essentially give the Russian winger the same opportunity uh, Robertson was in line for next season. And I honestly... This is the best trade that I've seen for Nick Robertson to date. I think Arthur Kaliev is a, is a guy who is very, very underrated and has been very underrated for a long time. I'd say his whole NHL career. I mean, that first rookie season he had was phenomenal. And since then, yes, he hasn't been producing as much, but he has still proven to be a solid NHL player here. And at, you're getting a bigger guy here at six foot two, two ten, who is more kind of like an offensive power, uh, uh, offensive power forward. That's the kind of guy you're getting in return here. You're not going to get the amazing shot and, and speed like Nick Robertson has, but you're going to get more of a gritty offensive forward here in uh, Arthur Kaliev. And I really, really love this trade. If we just take a look at Arthur Kaliev's stats last season. Like I said, he's 23 years old now. Uh, he's a little bit more established than Nick Robertson. Uh, he has been shown to be a great bottom six guy for the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, at 51 games last season, he had 15 points like we talked about uh, earlier. But I think this... Uh, 
it makes the most sense to me. If Bradshaw Living and the Toronto Maple Leafs see fit to move out a guy like Nick Robertson, if Nick Robertson is still very unhappy and wants a trade and is not willing, you know, to work with the Maple Leafs this season, Arthur Kaliev is the perfect guy to get in return because, like they say in this article, you can still give uh, that guy, give Kaliev the same type of situation you were going to give Nick Robertson, except it's going to be another guy in the lineup. And if you put him on that third line, a little bit, you know, a, a bigger guy who can get in front of the net, who can tip the pucks in. He's also has a great shot. He's good at winning the puck battles. And I, I just really like this return. I think that the, out of everything we've seen here, this one is just kind of a player swap of players who don't want to be where they are. They need, uh, you know, a change of scenery. And change of scenery will both help both of these players out. Yes, Robertson will go to LA and be a great player. I have no doubt about it. But I think Kaliev coming back to Toronto and just continuing his development under the Toronto coaching staff, especially under new head coach Craig Brube, will really uh, excel his game to the next level as well. And uh, I just really like this. I'd love this see this trade go through as much as I'd love to see the Leafs keep Nick Robertson it just seems like every day we're seeing different trades come out for him that there is going to be a trade for him if not you know it, it, it right now but maybe into the beginning of the season but I'd love to see this trade happen want to hear your guys thoughts down below in the comment section uh, about this trade we're going to get into the second topic of the video here today which is Mariner trade value revealed and yes um this has been a wide range topic of discussion around uh, Leafs fans as well as is Mitch Marner going to get traded? It seems like week by week we're getting no, he's not going to get traded. Yes, he's going to get traded. It's kind of all up in the air about what's going to happen with Mitch Marner right now. Are we going to see an extension signed? Are we going to see a sign and trade? We have no idea what's going to come for Mitch Marner. But today, uh, NHL Network analyst Stu Grimson. Uh, spoke out about what he thinks the trade value for uh, Mitch, a guy like Mitch Marner will get you. And this is what he had to say here. Uh, he said, it will be a haul. I got to believe there will be a solid, established, impact player as a part of the mix. Perhaps a mix of picks and prospects. It should be a rich return. But... They also say here in the Sports Illustrated article that if the Maple Leafs decide to go in that direction, they are sure to get plenty in return. But among the trade, there needs to be a, a Kachuk or Bennett type uh, to be a pain to play against within their top forward lines. And this is music to Leafs fans' ears to hear that, you know, yes, you are getting rid of a top uh, offensive guy in Mitch Marner, top defensive forward, but in return, you're going to get that gritty top six guy that you you need to be successful you need that pest you need that guy who's going to get under opponent's skin who's he's going to draw penalties for you guys and, and to hear that an NHL analyst come out and say that a guy like Kachuk could be return value for Mitch Marner is crazy to hear because I think I I would really like to see that I would love to see Kachuk in a Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. He would be uh, so fun to uh, see on that team. But uh, in saying that, do I think Matthew Kachuk could get traded to Toronto? It is a possibility, but I can't see it happening. What they're saying here is a player like that, like a Sam Bennett, like a Matthew Kachuk, a pesty type of guy. And that's the exact player that the Toronto Maple Leafs need. Especially, like I said about Arthur Kaliev in the last topic, is Barube loves these big, gritty type of forwards. And to get another, uh, to get a player like that who's a high caliber uh, guy who can play that top six uh, would definitely be very, very beneficial for the Toronto Maple Leafs team. Do I think it would be as beneficial as a guy like Mitch Marner? Not really. I think either way, if you trade out Mitch Marner, you're going to lose this trade because he's such a good player. But if they do seem fit that they need to get rid of this cap to free up some stuff, then it, it makes the most sense to do this. But there are a lot of players out there who are, you know, are top end guys like a Matthew Kachuk that could potentially be traded uh, if this, you know, whole thing happens. And uh, there's there's a lot uh, of players there, but Matthew Kachuk is the one to me that makes the most sense. And now after winning the Stanley Cup in Florida, obviously Matthew Kachuk being a key piece to that, would Florida move him out for to get a top offensive guy like Mitch Marner? 
That's the question on everybody's minds because if you're Florida, you're losing your top player. The fan favorite, in my opinion, is um, Matthew Kachuk alongside probably Aaron Ekblad and, and Barkov. But you are bringing in a top right winger in Mitch Marner who is instantly going to impact you, uh, your team offensively and just bring his playmaking, his third eye passing to this um, Florida Panthers franchise. So it is... A, a risky trade for both sides here, but I would really love to see this happen. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think we see Matthew Kachuk traded for Mitch Marner? I'd love to see your guys' thoughts on that down below in the comment section. Or is who, who is another Kachuk-type player that you would like to see traded for a Mitch Marner? I'm looking at Patty Laine, but I know a lot of you Leafs fans won't want to see Patty Laine in your lineup, but I think he would be phenomenal in Toronto. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. We're going to get into everybody's favorite topic here, which is comment of the day. And the comment of the day today... Uh, goes to uh, Skyhawk. Skyhawk says, this is a great contract for the Minnesota Wild. A steal. He is still a 900K contract this year. He will be a top 10, 10 defenseman four years. Should have been Rookie of the Year last year. Shout out to you, Skyhawk. He's obviously talking about the Brock Faber contract we talked about uh, just a couple days ago. But shout out to you uh, for comment on the video, showing your support. I'm a big fan of this contract too. I think Brock Faber is the future of the blue line for the NHL. And this is a great signing too have uh for the minnesota wild but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment below hit that like button it helps push these videos out to all the least fans on youtube also uh comment on the video you might feature on the next comment of the day just like our buddy skyhawk was today and uh, subscribe to the channel we're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the summer so if you're not subscribed already make sure to comment below and hit that subscribe button and make sure to go down to pin comment in the description to check out uh, your exclusive offer on NordVPN and popping up on your screen right now will be uh, a video that we did yesterday talking about the Montreal Canadiens. But as always, I've been your host KC. Keep your stick on the ice.